Hi everyone, this is U.S. Immigration Attorney Sharifa Tharp and I am here to take your U.S. Immigration questions. So go ahead and drop your questions in the comments because I am here to answer your questions. Uh, so I also come with a topic to talk about while your questions come in and today I'm going to be talking about applying for the green card on your own in the case that you're being mistreated by your US citizen or legal permanent resident spouse, your parent, your um, and in the case of a parent, if you're under 25 and also a citizen son or daughter who's 21 and up. In cases like that, you can apply for your green card on your own. Hi there, Renee Jones, it's nice to see you. So go ahead, drop your questions and I will answer. So I want to formally introduce myself. I am US Immigration Attorney Sharifa Tharp. I work at ST Law Office. I help clients to hi there at, at Makirti. It's nice to see you. I help clients to get their green cards and status in the United States. So, and it doesn't matter where you are, I represent clients in all 50 states and globally. All you have to do is give the office a call at 561-405-4889. And once you do, then um, you just schedule a consultation and you, once you're on my schedule, we talk more about your issue and then get started. So, uh, I am going to be talking about applying for the green card on your own if you have a U.S. citizen or legal permanent resident spouse, uh, if you're under 25, a parent, or a U.S. citizen son or daughter who is 21 and up. So do you also help permanent resident holder uh, with citizenship? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, I am going to be going to... Uh, out of town to attend uh, my client's citizenship interview tomorrow. So yes, I do. I represent clients through the entire citizenship process. So go ahead, if you want to apply for citizenship, go ahead and um, schedule a consultation first because I still need to go through your qualifications and make sure that there are no, um, make sure there are no disqualifying issues and if there are complicated facts, I work with those as well. So at Makirti, a perm on the way, H1 is going to max out. How can I live here and wait for the perm for one to two months? So in that case, if the perm, if you think the perm is going to come in one to two months, um, there may be a grace period even after it maxes out, but the grace period may be the period of time that it's going to take for you to leave the country. Um, so if other than that, um, you, for example, you can try to extend your status by changing to a B1 uh, or two. Uh, and then if you, you know, if you go to a B1 or two, you can possibly um, wait here on a, on a visa. You wouldn't be able to work, um, but that may be an option for you. There may be other statuses that you can um, change your change over to. However, keep in mind that the processing times for those may be longer than the one to, or two months that you have to wait for the perm. So, um, you know, at Makirti, it's very important to schedule a consultation to determine what works best for you because it really is um, based on your particular circumstances, what you qualify for, if your um, H-1B, I think that's your H-1B is about to uh, max out, what can you do to stay in the country until um, it processes? Um, and in some cases, maybe the final option would be to wait it out for the one to two months outside of the country, but it all depends on what the circumstances are. And the information I'm giving you is very general. It would I would have to advise um, based on a personal legal advice, um, legal consultation. So Nika Nika Main, thanks for sharing the live. Uh, so let's see. Um, 
so please talk about student visa and can your children go with you so it depends on what type of student visa there's the f1 and there's the m1 um, so yes with those your spouse can go with you um, however keep in mind that there may be some um, restraints in regards to the spouse working which may be very frustrating um, so mrs silva how can i schedule with you immediately so what you can do is call 561-405-4889 right now it's after hours uh, because our hours are 8 30 a.m to 6 30 p.m during the weekdays monday to friday you can call around the clock 24 7 there's going to be a receptionist who will answer the phone but the scheduling coordinator works within the time that i just listed monday to friday so what will happen is you can still call they'll take your information and then the scheduling coordinator will put you down and schedule you um, for a consultation and confirm that so you can get with her and then um, she can let you know the available times. Riri8767, thanks for following. Toy Apprentice30, thanks for sharing. Uh, so, Wise Up Room, thanks for the follow. So, um, please elaborate on status adjustment. Green card holder, mother, married daughter. Is it possible? No green card holder parents can't file for married uh, children they, they have to be unmarried jmw0974 thanks for the follow uh, can you apply for adjustment of status through the dv lottery visa program if you are selected so it is possible it is something that is rare but once you're selected there is a way to um now you have to wait for your number the number that um, you were assigned during the lottery visa program. You have to wait for that to become current Once that is current instead of uh, going to the embassy and filing with the National Visa Center You would actually file the adjustment of status application Now keep in mind that to qualify for that you also have to make sure that you are um, that you are you currently have status in the United States Sparks FX, thanks for sharing. At Makirti, you're welcome. Um, Desi Bande, 87, is your office. So my office is not in New York. I'm based in Boca Raton, Florida, but keep in mind that uh, that does not prevent me from representing clients in New York and Connecticut and Washington DC and Texas. So I, the, I can, represent clients in all 50 states and globally because as an immigration attorney i work with the uscis offices across the country and embassies across the world so ken bia 02 if i overstay my time marry will it be difficult to get my kids so it all depends um because it all it can it it depends on um now if you marry a u.s citizen you came in with a visa uh, then you can adjust status and then your spouse, your U.S. citizen spouse would have to file for your kids. Um, if it's a green card holder spouse, then uh, you keep in mind that if you overstayed your out of status, you wouldn't qualify for adjustment of status. You'd have to go back to your home country and um, or apply for a waiver in order to allow you to leave the country. You should not leave the country without that waiver you can always give me a call and schedule a consultation that's very important to make sure um, that you uh, qualify either way so um gi estate worry 1997 do permanent resident holders automatically become a citizen if they came to the u.s under age uh no but they can automatically become u.s citizens with their parents if their parents become US citizens before uh, they turn 18 and it, they have to meet specific criteria um, in order for that to happen. Samson, uh, thanks for the follow. Desi Love, 289, can my fiance come back to USA if he didn't marry me in nine days? 
Um, so that I would have to know the facts. So what are the facts involved? Um, he could not come back to the United States if his visa is expired and um, if he didn't get married. So it all depends on what's going on, uh, but you would have to make sure that you comply with that 90 day rule to get married within the 90 days so that he can stay in the United States and apply for adjustment of status. If not, and he leaves the country and then the, the visa expires, you'd have to do the process all over again. G Ruby 01, if someone was deported and re-entered, are they eligible to file for papers? No, so it depends because if I'm assuming that they were deported and they re-entered without permission, in that case, that could actually be a permanent bar, meaning that they wouldn't be able to file for their papers. Uh, so make sure uh, that you get legal advice to know your options. In some cases, even with a permanent bar, you still may be able to qualify for certain types of relief, but you have to meet specific criteria or be in certain situations for that to happen. Um, as it is here though, generally speaking, if you got deported and then re-entered without permission, then um, that could be a permanent bar. Um, paperwork is held up, VBaby, that's VBaby061, I'm so sorry, that is uh, the story with a lot of people. So uh, VBaby061, if I came over from Jamaica on a work visa and got married, but was in an abusive relationship and, uh, my, pa and my paperwork is held up. So VBaby061, give me a call, that is what I do. I do uh, many videos on this. Um, so you can, if you, now if you are on a work visa, and then you got married to a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident who they were abusive to you, definitely give me a call and let's get let's confirm you qualify and then get started on it because there is a way. Um, for a now a V baby, I can't stress this enough that this could be a solution for you. Give me a call at 561-405-4889 and then schedule the consultation. My, my number is plastered all over my videos, so follow me and um, then let me know. Uh, schedule that consult. Are there green card pathways for doctors? Absolutely, there are. So there are employment-based um, green cards for doctors, hospitals, sponsor their physicians all the time. So there's the H-1B, which is temporary, but then you can go from the H-1B to the exceptional ability or the national interest waiver, or you can come in as um, a skilled professional. So there are different ways to get the green card. Um, what the number one thing is that you need to have a sponsor, an employer sponsor you for the employment-based um, green cards. But in the United States, we're short of physicians and so that is why um, they, the doctors do get through because um, the U.S. is always in need of physicians. Kolebal, I have applied for asylum since November 2019 but since I haven't been invited for the interview. So unfortunately, the asylum process is grossly delayed. So you are not the only one that's going through that. Uh, Maria322, um, if a decision is not made. So Maria, I don't see your uh, previous question. So please retype that so I can um, see the full question. Desi Bande, 87, you're welcome. How much time? Uh, let's see. So if someone got arrested for re-entry to the USA, will they give him federal time? It's his second time. So uh, it, it's possible, it depends on, so if he's arrested and it depends on the statute and whether he um, falls with under the, the statute, um, he would really need to get a criminal attorney if he's being charged, criminally charged. He needs to consult a criminal attorney um, 
to make sure that he's protected and his rights are protected. Uh, so how much time it take to get the B1, B2 visa? So right now, it's terribly backlogged, um, but you could be looking at a, a possible four month process to um, get it transferred to an, an uh, another status. But keep in mind that there is a way to, so once you file for an extension or you file to change your status over, uh, there may be ways to stay in the United States until a, they render a decision. So Master Casa Mozo, I applied to renew my green card. I've sent a copy of my license, but it's a different address. So I put, uh, so I don't see the other part of your question. VBaby061, thanks for the follow. Uh, Zion Zit, can my child come with his mother if his mother's visa's application goes through? It depends. So usually the child will have to be on, included in the application to go. Children can't automatically go along with their parents. They have to be approved for a visa or the green card at the same time. So Guyanese uh, gal one one two. How long after biometrics do I have to wait for the interview for renewal of the green card? So I don't know if this this sounds like the I seven five one because that's where you usually have an interview, and right now that's terribly backlogged. So I wouldn't be able to give you a timeline. But what I can tell you, because it all depends on where you are, which service centers processing your case. But if you go to USCIS.gov and you put your um, put your um, go to case processing times, you put your the form in. So if it's an I-751 form and the location that is processing your case, you can get an idea of the, the range of time they're taking to process your case. Slim Job, thanks for the follow. Uh, Maria Escobar. Is it true that an asylum has more chance of being given if you have a kid? No, not necessarily. Um, it's not based on the kid, on having children. It's based on um, what kind of the facts involved in your case, what kind of persecution you face in your country. Um, I've been deported a few times, but my wife and son are citizens, can still come back legally. So in this case, if you've been deported a few times, um, Maca, Maca Marina, if you have got deported a few times, then it would sound like uh, a permanent bar. Now, I'd never like to say there's never hope uh, because I am talk, speaking to you generally and I'm giving you general um, information. So this is not personal legal advice, but usually, if someone is deported multiple times um, as a result of, de um, you know, being deported, returning, being deported, that's usually a permanent bar. If you'd like to discuss your options based on, on more specific facts, give me a call, schedule a consultation. For her, by Neva Marie. Thanks for sharing. Elise. A year ago, my husband withdrew my file during immigration interview. Can I apply without him? So it depends on what the facts are. Now, if he withdrew your file during the interview, I would want to know what's going on in your marriage. Was he um, being, did he mistreat you? Did he verbally abuse you, emotionally abuse you? Was he extremely cruel to you during your marriage? Withdrawing your file during the immigration interview uh, is it, it indicates to me that um, he was very at, at least indifferent towards you. So I would want to explore that. It's worth doing a consultation with me because if it is the case that he was um, mistreating you verbally, emotionally, financially, um, isolating you, uh, controlling you, that this could qualify you to apply for your green card on your own and it could be a solution for you. So um, go ahead and you can, you can apply for this even 
with your husband if you're still with him or you're without him even if you're divorced for less than two years this is a solution so give me a call and um, let's talk more about it in a consultation angel angela thanks for the follow Catalina, thanks for the follow sharon morris thanks for sharing um ken bia so he is a citizen can he adopt my kids once we get married so if your children are under 18 he doesn't even he can no you he can always make the decision to adopt them and that would be something another attorney would an adoption attorney for example or a family attorney could advise you on however when it comes on to immigration if he's a u.s citizen you get married um your kids are under 21 and unmarried and you were married before your kids turned 18 he could he doesn't have to adopt them to file the papers uh can be a schedule a consultation with me if you want to understand the process and get representation during the process because it may be easier the process is easier than adopting um him having to adopt the kids if if um you if the he and you meet the requirements that i just listed nisha four hi can i ask a question i'm in the bahamas uh let me see i i lost that question so let me go back I lost that question. There are so many questions coming in. Hang tight, everyone, as I get through the questions. Um, so can I ask a question? I'm in the Bahamas. My fiance is in the States, and we have a daughter. Okay. So I didn't see the rest of it. So if you have a daughter, and um, then... If your fiance is a US citizen, he could apply for your fiance visa um, and he could also apply for your child um, or your child could have derived US citizenship, by the way, um, because you are together and you don't necessarily have to be married for your child to derive citizenship, meaning to automatically get citizenship. You would just have to submit the paperwork. Um, but I don't see the rest of your question, so I'm just assuming that I'm I, I'm answering your question. Boiler Spartan, can you get a 10-year bar waiver for a student visa? So it depends um, on what's going on. For so for the student visa, it's a non-immigrant uh, visa. So there are there are non-immigrant um, waivers for these types of um, visas. However, it, whether you qualify for it depends, um, but there is no 10 year, okay, so the 10 year bar. So in your case, to get a student visa, it wouldn't be the unlawful presence waiver that you would apply for. That's when you're applying for the green card. You would apply for a non-immigrant uh, waiver, which the requirements to meet are not as stringent um however it is discretionary and you still have to convince the officer um diamond hill q i filed last year married to u.s military got my ssn and combo card but no update on my green card so um unfortunately back everything is backlogged right now and taking longer tamu 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 ra hello I'm a newlywed with a five month baby and would like info on how to file for the green card for my husband. So if you're a US citizen or you're a, per, a permanent resident, there are ways to apply for your, for example, if you're, if you're a US citizen, your spouse came in with a visa, then there's a way to adjust status in the United States while staying in the US. If you're a green card holder, uh, then your spouse and your spouse is out of, if they're, your spouse can continue to ma maintain status for the period of time that the process will take, he can adjust status. If he cannot, he's out of status, then he'd apply for what's called a waiver. And then that waiver would allow him to leave the country to finish a green card process at the time of the interview. So, um, you know, it all depends on your facts. 
so um lily uh lily let's see is guyana an e2 country unfortunately not um oloko red thanks for the follow um true that 48 thanks for the follow um do me thanks for the follow boiler spartan can you get a tenant so i answered that star power thanks for the follow i was on g4 visa for about five years and on a student visa for about five years so i don't see the rest of your question through that so uh, maka marina i'm looking forward to hearing from you so naimahi my husband lied literally to get an asylum had fake pics as if his country harmed him well then that is definitely some big trouble because um if an asylum is fraudulent or uh, frivolous meaning um, the person knows that there's no persecution and made it all up then that could be um that person could be in very big trouble and um be permanently barred from certain immigration benefits so um that's not going to have a happy ending um can you diaz um getting a letter from visa center good or bad so it depends on what the letter in the visa center is saying so that's a national visa center what is it saying boiler spartan can you get a 10-year bar waiver for a student visa so the 10-year bar waiver is for those applying for the green card but there are non-immigrant uh visas for uh students I mean, non-immigrant waivers for student visas. Um, how can check the status of my I-601A? So call the customer service number. And if there is an issue you're concerned about, ask to talk to an officer, um, a second level officer. Jalen27, hi there. Maria Escobar, you're welcome. Um, one consultation is how much? So it's $150 for up to an hour where you get advice from me we go through your facts uh you get to ask as many questions and you could walk out with me as your attorney now it's definitely worth it and why it's worth it is because you walk out knowing exactly what you need to do what your options are your rights and you could walk out with me as your attorney should you need it zion uh, ziti uh, what if the child is an infant should i file status change or wait for my uh, wife's visa application so uh, when it comes down to this i really have to know what the facts are what is your child's current status what's your wife's status so i wouldn't be able to advise you specifically schedule a consultation and then we can talk about it juanje uh juandri thanks for the follow uh, Boiler Spartan, can you get a 10-year bar waiver? So I answer that. Uh, Maria, if I file for an extension to stay and my I-94 is about to expire, can I stay or do I have to leave? You can stay as long as they have not issued a decision yet on your extension request. Um, so uh, just make sure that at the point, if they send you a letter denying it, that you leave within the time um, that they are uh, you know tell you that you have to or um, if they provide you the extension then that would be good too as uh, simon bullyar i was applied for the green card in october how much time does it take it depends on who you're applying for the green card through is it an employer or through family um, because it can go from a year so it can range from one year to many years it just depends on who your the relative is or the um, who the employer is um, can you diaz if we're getting letters from the visa center is that good uh, it depends on what the letter is saying so it could be good um, but if they are um, giving you if they're asking for information make sure you provide it make sure you follow all the instructions in there and get legal advice schedule a consultation and have an attorney evaluate that letter um, to, to properly advise um, you can call me at 561-405-4889 to um, schedule a consultation with me the real matilda five thanks for the follow maria War maria tiwari 
Um, if someone has a green 10 year green card and spent over two years in their country, can they come back? So there may be a way to come back through a re-entry permit. Uh, it just depends on what the facts are and whether they'll uh, uh, permit you to return. But it is definitely possible. Give me a call, schedule a consultation. Let's go through your facts and then see if we can apply for that. Um, so been deported a few times, but wife and son are citizen. Okay, so I saw that already. Um, you're welcome at Makirti. Um, Boiler Spartan, can you get a 10-year waiver for a non-immigrant visa such as student? Yes, there is no, not a 10-year bar. Um, yes, so you can get a waiver. Um, you can get a waiver, but it will not be an unlawful presence waiver. It's going to be a special type of waiver for non-immigrants. Is it impossible to bring someone from Haiti? No, it just depends on what that person qualifies for, whether you're the qualifying relative, um, then, but it's definitely possible. And I've helped uh, clients from Haiti to come here to the US. So I know firsthand that it is possible. Give me a call at 561-405-4889 and schedule a consult. Now hang tight everyone, I'm going through the questions as quickly as I can. So I'm lo I lost that question, but hang tight. Okay, so excuse the thousand questions. Do you assist doctors with employment-based green card applications? Absolutely. So give me a call, schedule a consultation, and then we can go over which employment-based green card would be best for you. Now, in the case that is an employer who would like to um, sponsor you, then I can advise you of your rights and what you qualify for. However, when it comes on to applying, your employer would also have to get involved um, and I would have to represent the employer in the petition process. But I can definitely advise you on the, some of the paths. There are some green, card, uh, green cards that you can apply for on your own but it depends on what your qualifications are to be able to get that. For example, the National Interest Waiver is uh, specifically for physicians. I mean, it's for a number of different professionals, but um, doc, this is a type of uh, green card application that doctors have gotten through with because it's in the best interest of the United States to ha get doctors in. And so you avoid what's called the labor certification process through the National Interest Waiver Program. So give me a call, schedule a consultation, and then we can go through it. I put a different address for the mailing. Is that okay? So um, you should provide the accurate address where you want, you, you know, where you're living. So um, make sure to change your address, contact them to change your address. One way to do that is through the AR-11 form. Um, that is at the USCIS. You can even put change a change of address, um, but I don't know what, why you put a different address. I don't know what the circumstances are. So, um, you know, you'd have to get specific legal advice. For example, with applications where the spouse is being abused, they don't use their physical address as a mailing address they use um, their their safe address so in this case if you use another address because you don't collect mail where you are then that is usually okay as long as you have your accurate physical address and you provide the mailing address where you want your mail to be that should be okay don cool thanks for sharing the live maxine bowers thanks for following <clears throat> can i file for my mom when i just have a green card if yes, how long is the process? So green card holders can't apply for parents. Um, Sharon, thanks for uh, the follow. So Emma, my mother wants to adopt her niece in Haiti. Is it possible? And how long do you think the process is? It is, uh, there is a possibility. Is she a US citizen? Uh, the, now it really depends on uh, whether the country meets certain standards. Uh, the reason that she wants to adopt the niece. So your niece would probably have to meet specific criteria to be able to be adopted. So um, I, what you need to do, because this uh, process of adoption can be very complicated. 
you want to schedule a consultation and get guidance because it is very complicated. Aliyah, hi there, thanks for the follow. Um, so Maria T322, thank you. How do you apply for a student visa and can you work legally on it? So you, the first thing you do is you would apply at the school, get accepted. The school would issue what's called an I-20 and you would take that I-20 to the student visa um, interview and you'd schedule the interview at your embassy. Hi there, Gucci Proudly. It's nice to see you. Fishing Frenzy, fiance visa issued only visiting uh, Philippines once. Um, so if you if you met your fiance uh, one time in the past two years, then that is okay. That should be pos um, okay. But uh, mark you, it's always best to get legal advice, especially if the amount of times that you saw them is very limited. Um, Han0726, my niece came in on student visa six years ago. Her visa expired after one year in the USA. No criminal. Uh, so in that case, she would still have to qualify um, in some way to adjust status in the United States or um, to get her green card. Um, so schedule a consultation because that there are some complicated facts there. Now, you wouldn't be able to sponsor your niece um, if that was what your question was. Um, you would, she would have to qualify through another relative that can apply for her. Um, Zion Zit, when should I call you to, or schedule an appointment? So you can call right now and schedule the appointment. Um, you can call right now. A receptionist will answer. It's usually an after hours receptionist at this point. Um, but we'll have your name, your number, and the scheduling coordinator will call you back on the next business day, which would be tomorrow, and schedule that appointment and confirm it as well. So Naj Mabrasi, thanks for the follow. I lost my green card and I need help filling out the application. Definitely, I can help you with that. Um, give me a call at 561-405-4889. It's usually, if you have a lost green card, it's usually through the I-90 form that you would use. Um, but I don't know if you're talking about lost your green card or literally physically lost your green card or was it revoked. But if it was physically lost or misplaced, then it's through the I-90 form. I can definitely help you to electronically file for the replacement. Um, Z uh, Zion Zitty. Married, then applied for wife's visa. Wife got pregnant, had baby recently before her embassy appointment. Okay, so um, schedule a consult because the facts are complicated here and I want to make sure that you get legal, accurate legal advice. Aliyah, my fiance is, are, is in the US, but he overstayed by six months, but his visa is still good until 2024. So if he overstayed his um by six months, then he his visa cannot be used again um, because it has now become invalid once uh, he overstayed. Uh, so especially overstayed um, hit the, by six months. So um, at this point, you want to, if, if the only way for your um, fiance to be able to apply for the green card is if he married a US citizen, so if you're a U.S. citizen, then adjustment of status applying for the green card while in the U.S. may be a possibility. So Alenis, uh, 20 years expedite removal, finally in states for 20 years. Um, got married to citizen and have kids. That's, that is great. I mean, I, I don't think this is a question. I think this is one of those happy endings to show that um, it does happen, right? So 20 years expedited removal, finally in the States for 20 years and got married to a citizen. So um, great. If you have a follow-up question, let me know. But it sounds like you had a happy, happily ever after here. Um, Lore, Lord Lashes, my cousin got whole girlfriend, her pregnant, so her girlfriend pregnant or his girlfriend pregnant in Mexico and they just had their baby, how can they get a visa? Um, so 
you know it it depends so in this case the girlfriend does not qualify for a visa just based on um, having a baby um, it you know I this they would have if you're the cousin so if your cousin is a US citizen and they're ready to get married that could be one way to get her to the United States as a green card holder and get the baby um, to the you now the baby could uh, qualify as a US citizen um, through the cousin if your cousin if the cousin is a US citizen um, tell your cousin to give me a call schedule a consultation and we can go over the rights of, of his baby and how to get his girlfriend to um, the United States but just being his girlfriend alone is not gonna qualify for her for any kind of green cards or even a visa and even being being his wife or his girlfriend is definitely not going to get her a visa at McCarty, um, can I work for multiple clients through the same employer in H1B? So, um, you know, it all depends on the facts here and where, so where are these different um, clients? Uh, so you said multiple clients through the same employer. It depends on um, where you're authorized to work, who are these other clients. Schedule a consultation at McCarty. Let's go over the elements here and make sure that you comply with your H-1B uh, visa terms. We had a case with a lawyer. She never really uh, did nothing, just paid. Oh, well, that's unfortunate, Liam. I'm sorry that that happened to you. Um, born, in Mar uh, born in Mars, I came to the US in June. Um, so uh, I see born in Mars. I'm not sure. I think that's a typo. Um, I was 18. Do I need to take uh, the text to get my the test to take get my so yes you would need to take the test um, if you were already 18 when you came in then and you apply for citizenship you're gonna need to take that test can you Diaz you're welcome uh, so do how does my sister help her husband apply for the green card my sister is a US citizen so um she he if he came into the u.s with his visa and he just overstayed and he's out of status there is a way for um her to apply for the husband and he can possibly stay and um and get the green card here but it depends on what the circumstances are if he came into the country without um his papers then that's going to be a different process but she can still apply for him um, schedule a consultation with me. I can definitely walk um, your sister through the options. Send her my videos or send her a video um, where I talk about issues like this. Um, if he came in without his papers, then he would have to apply for a waiver and he would have to um, write uh, before the interview. He could buy the ticket if it's approved. If the waiver is approved, he could buy a ticket and go to the um, embassy. However, how this plays out all depends on the facts here. Mason, um, Mason um, if my sister filed for me in 2008 and my mom got filed for the same time, my mother now lives. So if your mother lives in the US, um, right now it's taking a minimum of 14 years. Uh, so it just depends on where you are but a minimum of 14 years and on your priority date on your receipt notice um, so test newman forbes can a person who overstayed apply for the green card yes but um, the way that they apply is going to depend on how they qualify for the green card and that's where it's so important to um, schedule a consultation so D jamaica devon does immigration reuse your previous biometrics? Uh, yes, so they can do that. And I've noticed uh, with many of my clients, they're doing that I, to speed up the process where they don't have to schedule a biometrics appointment. So um, yeah, they can do that. Uh, they overstayed in New York. So let's see. I Hi, I'm in Jamaica. How do I get a work permit or do I look about it from here so in order to get a work permit you will need to first qualify for some other type of immigration benefit so you either qualify through a family member through an employer 
to come to the United States to work. So that's where you're going to have to start. Gabriella Farmer, 329. Thanks for the follow. Can you please tell me if an undocumented person can travel to another state? Um, so uh, yes, it is possible for them to travel to another state as long as they, um, if they're traveling by plane, you know, they'd have to just make sure that they have a valid ID, like a passport to be able to show identification. They don't usually uh, do immigration enforcement in the airports. I'm not saying that it never happens, but they don't usually do that. You can also travel outside of the state um, by car or bus or train, um, but you just always have to make sure you comply with the required ID. So usually a passport, um, traveling with a passport or driver's license or something similar to that. Tamura, I'm a citizen, but he came here on an asylum visa, I believe, but he can't leave the States. Okay. Um, so for her, what are the E2 countries? So E2 countries are countries that have agreements with the United States to take in um, the, their citizens. Citizens of these E2 countries can come to the US. They can start a business or expand their business in the US as long as they can show that they're a citizen of that country and that they have the sufficient capital to run a successful business in the United States. So at Macurity, um, how to get the student visa? Uh, so you will have to first apply to a university or a college or the school, and then they will issue you an I-20, and you'll use that I-20 to apply for your student visa and attend the interview for the visa at your embassy. Emma with the cheeks, my mother wants to adopt her niece in Haiti. Is that possible? So I did answer that it could be possible. It just depends on whether your niece um, and Haiti meet certain requirements and it can get complicated. So this is definitely a situation where she will need to schedule a consultation with me and let's go through all the facts to determine whether her niece meets, meets the criteria as well as Haiti. Savannah Kelly, thanks for the follow. Is Trinidad and Tobago an E2 country? I have good news for you. It absolutely is. Um, so Venad Lochman, thanks for the follow. Um, so Emma with the cheeks, I'm glad. I'm really glad. Thank you for that. You made my day. So uh, my fiancés are getting married in a few weeks, but he has overstayed his visitor's visa. So if you're a U.S. citizen, Aliyah, and he came in and you got married afterwards, then there is a way to adjust status in the United States and they don't uh, penalize for overstaying um, as long as there was no fraud involved with your spouse staying in the United States. And usually the process goes smoothly. I deal with these cases all the time and I've never had an issue. You can give me a call, schedule a consultation to get this process right and to do it right. Give me a call, 561-405-4889. Um, schedule a consultation first. We'll go through all your qualifications and then um, get started. Um, so Aliyah, my fiance is here. Okay, so I got that already. Um, so Master Casa Mozo, when I applied to renew my green card, my address, but my driver's license have a d different address. So if you're using your mailing address and it's different than the, on your driver's license, then it uh, should not be a problem. Um, I'm a permanent resident in Canada. Can I work and live in the U.S.? So it uh, it depends on how you qualify um, to live in the U.S. Um, so Gita, Gita, my mom is a U.S. citizen. She filed for me when I was under 18. Does that make me automatically a citizen? So if she filed for you when you're under 18, no. But if you became a green card holder, when you were under 18, then yes, you could very well have uh, derived citizenship. 
So schedule a consultation. Let's go through to see um, if you meet the requirements, some of which means you, so you're a permanent resident at the time that your mom became a U.S. citizen. You were um, within your mom's custody, then um, that could very well be the situation. Um, Denise Alexis, 89, thanks for sharing. Uh, so true that, uh, let's see, I was on a G4 visa for about seven years and on a student visa for what step should I take? So it depends true that um, on what your quali qualifications are. I can't advise you specifically until I do a consultation. So can getting a letter from Visa Center, good or bad, getting a letter. So um, can you, Diaz, I answered this already. And the question is, it depends on what is in the letter. I would want to know that first. So um, if you are really concerned and you need advice, it's always best to schedule a consultation and um, get advice on that. Uh, so let's see. I lost the questions um hang tight everyone as i am going through your questions we have a lot of questions today so i'm just going through i want to get to everybody's questions so I heard folks paying 15K to get married. Is that legal? Absolutely not. I would definitely don't do it. It's not worth it. Um, that's prison time and um, a permanent bar from the green card and deportation. Angel, son 35, good evening. How much is your fee? I have a few questions. So it's $150 for up to an hour and it's great because you'll get all your questions answered. Roris91, I was born here in Texas. I'm 29. I'm married. Can I still ask for my mom? She's in Mexico. Absolutely. But the way to apply depends on what the facts are. So schedule a consultation and we can get started on that application. Then marinate. Um, uh, so let's see. Paul, hustle daily. What is the price on the consultation? So 150 and that's Paula. $150 for up to an hour where we talk about your issue. We, I advise you ask your questions. Uh, you can get the option of further representation if necessary. It's worth it because you walk out knowing your rights, knowing your options, knowing what you need to do. You don't have to deal with you know, doubts. You can walk out knowing I have options. Let me, this is how I'm gonna pursue it. Is Antigua an E2 country? No. Uh, we don't have no family over there, but he was born there. Um, let's see, Trevor. I didn't see the rest of the question. My father brings me to the US five years ago. He has a green card. They say it's processing. How long? Um, so it depends on how your, who, who applied for you. So. So I don't, um, I don't know you. It really depends on the facts here. Um, who is applying for you? Who applied for your dad? Whether your dad brought you here while the papers were pending? Um, how old are you? So schedule a consultation. Um, random baller. So you're trying to go to school. That's a great uh, move. And congrats on that. I have a son. Uh, so this is Trevor July. I have a son that born in the US. I would love for him to come and go to school over there what can i do so you can apply for schools for him to go to and if you do apply for those schools um the, you know maybe even the, the school just depending on the school what your son's qualifications are you know he could get uh, possible financial aid to be able to go to school um and then as for housing and so forth you have to um that is definitely something you have to look in and it depends on your financials car all things here um, thanks for the follow how long does it take to get the green card through your spouse i say prepare for an 18 month to two year process is antigua one no um, is st kitts one no it's not an e2 country is jamaica one absolutely demarinate it is if it is an e2 country 
Um, you're welcome, unknown 12347. What state are you based in? I am in Boca Raton, Florida. However, keep in mind, I represent clients all over the country and the world. Um, Antigua is not an E2 country. Um, do you know how I can practice as midwife with a midwife degree from UK if I have a green card? So that would really come down to if they would accept your professional uh, degree here in the United States. Um, so even though you're already a permanent resident, it's just a matter of whether you can transfer your qualifications to the United States. And that's going to be more of a question that you have to direct towards um, the nursing field um, or the association that deals with this. Shelly, how long after an interview did they usually issue a spouse green card? So it all depends. It could be as short as four weeks. It could be as long as years, just depending on, on what whether they're uh, reviewing it further. Jamaica Devon, thanks for following. Um, hi, during the pandemic, my parents overstayed in India and still can't travel on the green card. What should I do? So in this case, um, if your parents overstayed in India, what they need to do is they need to um, make sure that they submit. There are different, there are specific forms um, and that is definitely a good reason. There are diff specific forms, for example, like a re-entry permit that would allow them to come back to the United States because of these um, circumstances. Um, mag magnificent, give me a call. I can advise and prepare this application for them ASAP. Hey, how long it take for them to call you for an American passport? I got approved um, the 5th. So it, um, for, I know for citizenship. Now, if you're applying for your passport, it just depends on what the processing time is. My experience with that is about four to six weeks. Do you service in the New York area? Absolutely. Sexy lips. Hi there. Um, Maria T322, how do you get the student visa? Does the school file for you? The school doesn't file for you, but the school, once they accept you, they issue an I-20 that is evidence that you've been accepted to an institution in the United States. So at McCurity, it depends on what the perm is based on. So what is that? Who is uh, sponsoring you? Um, how long ago did you file? Um, what is required to be able to answer that question? And one thing you can do is you can check case processing times at the USCIS.gov. Miggy4321, thanks for the follow. Light Skin Santi, thanks for sharing. Melissa Smith, hey. RT111, hello. So, hi, good evening. Do you work in a specific state? So, I work all across the United States and globally. So, give me a call. Uh, do you know when the US Embassy in Ghana will lift the visa ban? So the U.S. Embassy, they, I believe that the ban, um, so because there was a ban um, for different countries, I knew it was Nigeria. I, didn't, um, I never heard of a ban in Ghana. However, there may be some COVID restrictions right now, uh, and that may be it. Uh, if it is based on COVID, it all depends on how this thing plays out. However, um, otherwise, um, I'm not aware of any visa bans specific to Ghana. If someone overstated their visa and they return back home, uh, but visa still not expired, can they return? Um, no, it depends on how much if they overstated. Uh, it could possibly be revoked or you could uh, face issues at the airport. So very important for you to get legal advice to be prepared for what is to come. Um, what are E2 countries? Is Trinidad and Tobago an E2 country? Yes, it is. And it is for people who want to expand or open business. So citizens of Trinidad and Tobago can qualify to come to the United States, open a business and live and work while they're running the business in the U.S. Alain Nis Go One, I want to know if I can legalize my status even with the 20 years expedited removal. Okay, so not exactly a happy ending yet. Um, so if you can legalize your status, even with the 20 years expedited removal. So if you're in the United, if you're outside of the United States, absolutely, 
usually with expedited removal you just have a bar of five years but also keep in mind were you expedited because of misrepresentation was there an other issue associated with the expedited removal this is a highly complex area that i focus on so schedule a consultation and i can advise further if you'll need a waiver meaning to apply for forgiveness or whether you can just apply without it it all depends so give me a call jazzy joy 575 thanks for the follow um so i'm on a pending can i travel outside of the country so you would have to have a travel uh, travel document or to be able to do that, Mike 25Z. Uh, where are you located? In Boca Raton, Florida, but I represent clients all over the country and globally. I do phone and video consultations. So Curtis, Cortez siblings, I have, a fa I have green card for five years, road to citizenship, absolutely. But we'd have to look at your other qualifications. If you're starting a business and you have a family, can you apply? Yes, you can. Um, give me a call. Let's go through more of those requirements. Light Skin Santi, if someone overstay on their visa, can they travel state to state? Yes, uh, that is possible. Don Family 1333, thanks for the follow. Um, level Up Boss Mom, I can't wait to speak with you. Uh, thanks for scheduling and I can't wait to help you. Charlie B. Moore, thanks for the follow. Um, Don Family, I have conditional green card. Can I apply uh, to my mom? She's already in the US. So green card holders can't apply for parents. Can a person resettle to America with wife and kids? Yes, it's possible, but it depends on how you qualify. Fishing Frenzy, you're welcome. What do you suggest uh, for someone who has overstayed by 30 years on a school visa and isn't married? So it all depends on your facts. Uh, to tell you what your options are, give me a call. I'd like to sponsor my uncle and his family from Cambodia. Is um, So usually you can't sponsor uncles. So, um, you know, the option is very limited, if not impossible there. I'm from Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean. Can I apply to live and work in the U.S.? If you are coming to the United States to start or expand a business or work for a business that's expanding, a Trinidadian business that's expanding into the U.S., that could very well be an option. Cortez Sibling, hello, what if someone had a green card for five years? Can they apply for citizenship? Yes, um, so for five years, but you have to meet other requirements as well. Schedule a consult and I can help with that. So I have a green card. Can I sponsor to my mother? She's in the US. Um, no, green card holders can't apply. Thanks everyone for sharing and following. Um, if US citizen brings their parents in dependent uh, green card, do they apply to get Medicaid here in the US? Um, so it depends on if they qualify for the Medicaid. Um, you know, you're usually uh, straight off the bat, green card holders don't usually qualify for Medicaid, um, maybe emergency Medicaid. So you, you just have to be careful about that. Happy lady, what is the best way 90 day fiance um, or spouse uh, went to bring? So it depends on what works for you. With a 90 day, you have to go through a two step process. You have to apply for the fiance visa, then they come here, get married within 90 days. And then you go through the green card process. So that part can be stressful. If you do get married uh, with your spouse outside of the country, you can just file the green card paperwork. And when they come to the United States, they are a permanent resident, no more processes required. Masony, um, my sister filed for me. Can my mother take over the filing? So not that specific filing. Um, so um, if someone overstayed, Let's see. So the consultation fee, Paula, um, is $150 uh, to go through your facts, answer your questions, and then determine whether you qualify uh, for the benefit I gave you. So um, my case was rejected because my I-797 wasn't complete. Um, my question is do my case start over again so usually if it's completely rejected then um, it will start again 
if my husband filed for me we have a case on immigration but he now wants to divorce what should i do give me a call angela because if your husband is mistreating you verbally financially controlling emotionally abusive this can qualify you to apply for the green card on your own green card holders so qualify for uh, medicaid because my two kids are on it so children are different um, however and it depends on how long so green card holders can qualify for medicaid it depends on the state um, it depends on state laws so but generally speaking for example in florida you have to have it you have to live as a permanent resident for five years to be able to get it so it all depends but as for me as an immigration attorney i don't um if you want advice on medicaid you should contact an estate planning attorney or a medicaid attorney to be able to help you to determine whether you qualify sexy lips 38 you're welcome so thank you everyone for showing up and asking such great questions i am here every day so um i won't i possibly will be here earlier in the day tomorrow um in the morning because i travel in the night um but go ahead follow me so that you can when you see me you can hop on and continue to ask your questions if you would like to schedule a consultation call me at 561-405-4889 or you can go to all the videos on to get my phone number if you missed the phone number or go to the link in my bio learn more about me what i practice what i can help you with um, and that's it for tonight. Thanks everyone. Bye.